Sharon Banks lives in the tiny town of Bigenden, 339 kilometres northwest of Brisbane. It is here at Red Collar Rescue where, with the help of her husband Russell, they save the lives of thousands of dogs. You don't need to be anything to be a breeder. I wonder, can't you see two dogs that both have all their bits intact? I call it breeding for beer money. But the average bogan, if they're getting $50 a puppy, you know, that's a couple hundred dollars. There's no government body or group or organisation that actually make sure that these people are doing the right thing. Some people, um, I got a call about him or a message on Facebook. Some people were at a boat ramp and somebody approached him and said, do you want this dog otherwise we're going to shoot it? Either Sharon takes it or, or it gets put down. So, and that's the, the hardcore reality of it. Two and a half years old, why should he die because he's not house trained and, and eats too much? When somebody goes and surrenders the dog to the pound, boys always say to them, you know, it is highly probable this dog will be euthanized. And they just, they don't care. We had a seven month old German Shepherd surrendered to the pound the other way. And the people said, we don't care if you put it down. And it's crime was that it was digging in their garden. It's a seven month old German Shepherd puppy. You know, what, what, what a puppy do. that's what they do. We have to live out here to be able to do what we do without you know, people screaming and complaining about dog barking. They only bark at dinner time, so all things are pretty good. Until we turned up in Bundaberg and literally started going, hey, look everybody, look over here, here's a problem, you know, help us do something about it. Nobody knew where the pounds were. Half the people didn't even know there was a pound. In Bundaberg, they've probably put down, we're, we're, yeah, because we're here, they've probably only put down 100 dogs in the last year. On average, we save council $30 per dog um, just in euthanasia fees. 250,000 animals a year getting euthanized in pounds across Australia. We're just breeding animals that uh, they're just being bred to die. It's murder if you do it to a person. It's, it's murder if you do it to an animal. The community's not gonna sit idly by and just let these things happen. I think the, the world, hopefully, in 10 years' time will be different to the one we're in today. I hope I'm alive to see it. But, um, yeah.